Hi all, in this video, we will discuss one of the important real-time scenario of Selenium web driver. That is, search for a product in any e-commerce site like Flipkart or Amazon and from the search result, select either low-priced product or the high-priced product, like which is most widely used in the real-time and which was also a very popular L2 level interview question for the role of automation test engineers. Now we will see how we can do this. Let's take Amazon.in for the demo. Here in the search, we can search different products and click on search. It will result the product list. So for, for the demo, let's search mobile phones. We can search anything. I am just searching with the mobile phones and clicking on search icon. So which will fetch me different results for the mobile phones. Here I have to select the mobile phone which is having each price or it is having a highest price. So we will see how we can do this. But till here we will do the automation first. Then we will come to the actual logic part. Okay. For that I am taking the Amazon.in website and going into the Eclipse. So here I am having the basic setup of Selenium that is just setting the driver driver property here is my chrome driver and i have initialized a chrome driver and having the statement to open the browser so now i have to pass the url that i want to pass that is i think what amazon dot it so once i have passed the url what i want to do i want to search for some item and click on search button so yeah before that i want to maximize the browser for that I can use driver.manage.window.maximize which will be a maximize my browser. So once it's maximized I want to enter text into this input box. So I'm going back to amazon.in website. So this is the home page of amazon.in. So I'm clicking on right click of the mouse clicking on inspect. So this will open me the console of the application I'm keeping in the bottom. So just I am right clicking on the element again and clicking on inspect which will highlight the related HTML code of that box. So this is an input box with an ID of two bar search test box. So let's copy that ID. Go back to Eclipse. So let's let's take a variable called web element. So web element let's say that is a search box search box equal to driver dot find element by dot id because i am using the id over there so i just copied id pasting it here so handing with the column so what i want to do here i need to send some text to that search box so i can do that using dot send keys what is the text i want to send here text is nothing but mobile phones we can type mobile phones here so which will send the mobile phones after sending mobile phones here let's say i have written mobile phones here what i want to do the next thing the next thing i want to do is like i see click on this search icon so just inspect this search icon right click so this is also having a unique id called now search submit button just copy go back to the eclipse here you can have one more variable with web element web element a search button search button equal to driver dot find element by dot id the id which i copied and add the line so just add the line with semicolon now take that search button search button dot click so it will click the search button. Just save this and right click run as a Java application. So which is opening a browser, which is entering to the Amazon.in, it maximizes the browser, it entered mobile phones and we got the results. Now we'll just close this browser and go back to our previous browser. So here we have entered the text mobile phones 
can click on and search so it fetch me some results so let me move to the side so our aim is next to find the prices so let's inspect the price right clicking on the element click on inspect so which is having a class of a price hold so let's copy that entire thing along with the class click on ctrl f it will come here so in the starting and ending just close with square brackets and change the double quotes into a single quotes so this is the css value for all the prices if you see it is it is giving all the prices so it is the correct css selector for all the prices so just take this and we'll store it inside a variable go to the eclipse let's create one more variable for the prices so if you see here this is not a single element which is a combination of 29 elements so what we have to do here is like we have to create a list of elements let's take list from java utils click on enter the type of the variable we want to store is web element so just give web element and give the name as price elements so equal to driver dot find elements by dot css selector so and here we need to give the value of css selector that we copied so and with column so we got the all the elements of prices so what we have to do now we need to check like let's try to print all the prices as of now for that what we can do we can take a for loop let's say integer i equal to 0 i less than or equal to price elements dot size so we should not give equal to that time okay i plus plus let's try to print it out so yes so and we can get the prices by using price elements dot get text first we need to get the element each element one by one then dot get text so this will give us the prices of all the elements let me try to run this so it opened the amazon.in website and maximized entered mobile phones and we got all the list of mobiles let's see whether it's printed the prices or not let's close this see it has printed all the prices of the elements so it has printed everything so what we need to do we need to remove this comma and we need to convert the string type this is a string type right that text will return a string type to an integer let's do that using first of all we'll remove this dot using replace method just use dot replace all let's take replace all what we want to replace we want to replace all the commas with nothing so now just try to run this again so same thing open enter mobile phones let's close this see yeah now all the commas got removed now just update this to an integer value we can do that using parse integer dot parsing let's take an integer dot parsing and in the place of null we have to give this entire value let's cut this paste here and and with the close the bracket so just remove this one from here so now the value is converted into a integer now we need to store this value into a list okay but the thing is like we need to click on that element after we get the uh, correct element to click let that is like low priced element or the high price element so for that purpose we should not store in a list let's store it in a map let's take map from java utils and we can store both web element and the price value 
which is nothing but an integer. So you have to take a map and say map equal to and let's define a new hash map. So this is a hash map. So in a map we can add values using dot put. So just a map dot put. What we want to put? We want to put both the element and the, the its value. Where is the element is nothing but price dot get of i. Right? Because this is the price elements, right? The price elements dot get of i will give the first element. So its related price is inside this value. So just cut it, paste it here. So just end it with the column. So let's remove this print statement now. Now we have we are storing the value of both price and both price and the element inside a map. But let's go to the site again and let's see. See if you if we observe here, it is identifying some elements which are null. So we should avoid these kind of values. So for that, we can add a value in the if loop like if this price dot get of get text whatever the value we have is should not be equal to null so if it is not null it will put into the map otherwise it will ignore so i'm just cutting and pasting inside the if loop so we can format it so this is this is how we can store the values inside a map now let's do whatever the logic we want. What we want? We want to click on the highest or lowest points. For that, first we have to sort this map. Now let's convert this map into a list entry and then we will do the sorting. For that, take list entry, list from the Java utils and entry from the map and the data types we need to pass are web element as well as the integer. So just pass those two values and give some name let's give le list entry and new array list so this is what we going to create so we have created one object for the list entry but we need to pass this mass math object math map object right so for that we can use map dot set entry entry set you see we can get entry set so what this will do is right it will convert the map object into a list entry object why we converted it to do the sorting we can use le dot sort method to do the sorting we want sorting to be done for the integer that is by comparing the value we can give that using entry dot comparing by value so we can remove this now and end it with a semicolon what this line of code will do is like it will sort the list entry and it will store in the same object so if you try to print this value we can use for loop like let's say entry let's say e and le this is a enhanced for loop we can use system dot out dot print ln e dot get value we just want value that is the prices okay now save this click on right click run so this should open the browser should enter the value of mobile phones it should get the prices and it should print the sorted values of prices let's see yeah it has printed the sorted values so let's say if we want to click into the lowest price object we can click the element present in the lowest index or if you want to click on a highest price we can click lowest index let's try to click on the lowest price object that we can do by using the object that is le dot what we want to see we want to get for the first index we can use zero dot what we want to do here we want the key value like here is the element we have so get the key value and dot click this will click the least price product which is nothing but of the cost of 1999 let's save and run this 
so it opened the browser it maximized it is searching for the least product and it is clicked on that one so this is the least product which is having so it clicked on this product so let's try to click now on highest price product that is this one that we can do by using instead of zero we can give the length of this one that is nothing but lead of size minus one so it will give the last index value let's try to run this now let me close these two browsers and try to run it as a java application so it opened it entered mobile phones maximized it is searching for highest price product it clicked on see this is the highest price product if you see console this is the highest price so it clicked on that highest price mobile phone so that's it that is how we can do the selection for the highest and lowest price